look here for this section of the video I've got a little bit of um, ingredients in here and then I've got two litres in this jug and we're going to put some golden shimmer into the small container don't need too much and you can just stir that in the mica will just mix straight in with the um, the melted butter and then what we're going to do is you see these moulds are the rose shape so in the centre of each one we're going to put some of that lovely golden cocoa butter and what we're going to use for that is we're just going to use a pipette and we're going to squeeze some of the mixture into the pipette and then squeeze it into the center so we get a golden center in each bar I don't know if this video is going to be far too long for one, so I might split it into two. So this might be the second part of uh, video B, but it might not. I'll try. I might as well just fit it all in as one. And then they'll just harden up in there. I'll just move this to one side. No, I think I'll be better just moving these along. Moving this along. And then moving you along so you can see what I'm going to do next. Get this um, CI12490. Uh, which is water dispersible liquid 100 mils it was 47 pound i can't believe i paid that and I, that's crazy for 100 mils of watercolor water pigment i don't know what i was thinking it's absolutely ridiculous um i won't be buying it again because i'm just gonna make do with something else I'm sure it's very concentrated um, and it really is a good red it's the red I've always used but I just think that's crazy for we'll just put a little bit in there it's like like liquid gold I mean you could get 
pure rosa oil probably wouldn't even cost that i mean it would i'm exaggerating but right let's have our first go with this blender shall we well there is definitely a lot of color in there and i'm a little bit scared that i've put too much in but the easy way to find out is you just dribble it on no it's not too dark it's fine well it seems to have plenty power and i'm going to put fragrance in now this pink champagne that i use is very very strong whisk it too much because it will get frothy on the top and well I can't see anything wrong with that blender it's very substantial feels like it'll last a long long time but we'll see now all we need I just need my other jug. warmer on my cooker so I like to keep the jug on the warmer and it keeps the bottom of the jug nice and warm We're just going to pour straight on top because that gold rose on the bottom is set already. Sorry about the boiler, it is night time now and John and Declan are in, you can probably hear them in the background. I know it looks very red but it is going to set to pink it's not going to be a red massage bar right I'm just going to keep this bit that's in here because I still need another five but for you uh, that'll be the end of this section of the video <clears throat> I'll be back soon 
with the burlesque massage bars but they're made in these molds so I need to wait for these to set and unmold <coughs> excuse me before I can make the burlesque massage bars so we'll be back in the next scene making those actually the next scene will be unmolding these then we'll be making the other bars Okay, so our next massage bars are the burlesque massage bars and we've got lots of rose petals in here. So we're literally just going to take a pinch like this and we're just going to pop them any bits of grass in there or leaves. Just pick those out. So we put these in first not too many So if you want to find uh, rose petals, just type in dried rose petals in Google search and then just search until you find the cheapest ones. I'll just have a look on the box and see where I got mine. I have had them quite a while now. Um, so they are the starting to discolour a bit but I got these from Whole Foods okay so I take some of them, your mixture I haven't put any fragrance in here but you can if you want to we're just going to drizzle a little bit of oil in each one and then we're going to leave those to set and then that's what keeps the roses down on the bottom of your mould. If you pour all of the oil in now, the roses will rise up the top, which there's nothing wrong with that, but you won't have as much detail on the rose side uh, of your bar if you do it the other way. And the, these moulds are from siliconmoulds.com. They're about probably eight years old and they're still like new so I'll put a link to siliconmolds.com in the description box below I've actually got a giveaway coming up for siliconmolds.com um, Sarah Jane kindly sent me a load of molds after seeing well I'll tell you the story when um, when we do the video so that will be coming up Hopefully within the next month, uh, you might be able to win some silicon moulds. Not these ones though, they're different. Okay, so when you can see that the butter is setting, it doesn't have to be fully set, but you can see it's just starting to go white. That's when you're going to pour your next layer on. Well going to pour the rest of the butter on and that keeps most of the rose petals stuck to the bottom so these molds um, each bar weighs about 100 grams and if they still sell them I'll put a link to them in the description box below 
uh, siliconmalls.com their malls are very good quality there are many malls out there that are very 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 flimsy Oh, and the fragrance I'm using for this is uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, female. One that I only make massage bars with because it doesn't soap well, it seizes. Um, this is the one from Sensory Perfection. And um, it also discolours, so I don't use it in bath bombs either. But massage bars don't discolour, so That was fairly lucky, wasn't it? Right, so I don't actually need 24 of these. I only need 16. No, yeah. 18. No, 16. I only need 16. Uh, with massage bars, I tend to just make them fresh to order. Um, they're not something that keeps brilliant, brilliantly for a long time on the shelf so I always make them fresh um, and I think it's a good idea for you to do it that way as well don't go away because we're still making massage bars we've got more to come these are all the ones that I do on a regular basis but I have to do an aura massage bar just have to it's such a fantastic fragrance definitely think it's going to be one of my best sellers um, and I might do another one as well to add to the collection so don't go anywhere so I got this fantastic mold uh, from Silkomart they do amazing molds they're not cheap uh, but they're beautiful absolutely beautiful I'm going to be buying more of these in the future not this particularly one I'm going to get different ones they're expensive so you can't afford to buy like you know four five six seven eight diff you know eight of each design uh, but it doesn't matter because really I decide that I don't actually need that many moles of each design if I'm going to make these products to order and you can see it's got a beautiful domed effect on there and then it has this lip as well that, that curves in so the bottom of your product is going to be curved in as well so it's going to literally look like a domed um, part so what we've got in here is we've got our massage bar mix, solid body butter mix, lotion bar mix, um, whatever you want to call them. Um, and in here I've got some one drop of CI42090 which is a blue and I've got one drop of CI, sorry, I always forget this one. I think it's 11680. Yes, 11680. Oh. And then we're going to put some of this fantastic Aura fragrance, which is identical to the real thing. My favourite perfume at the moment is Aura by Thierry Mugler. So it is just called Aura and obviously it has to be in a heart shape um, to make it perfect. 
um, so I'm calling it Angel Aura if you want to go and purchase this on the website just click on to I have actually two listings on the website that you can choose from you can shop all products or you can shop categories if you shop categories then I have everything categorized into soap bath bombs solid body butters luxury gifts candles wax that kind of thing um or if you know if you want to scroll through all the products i have then just click on all products so we're going to get some fragrance in here and there's literally a litre of oil in there so I'm putting 50 grams of fragrance in there and I'm hoping they're going to come out green it, not the ideal colour for a massage bar because it, it can look a little bit dirty uh, when it's set but I just thought it has to be green pink always works well uh, purple's quite good but your blues and greens and other colours are not fantastic really orange is okay as well um, but I thought I can do the green and then I can do something to the outside which is what we're going to do to this one um, once we've poured uh, once it's set and unmoulded okay so let's pour probably not enough green colour in here to have a fantastic effect uh, but I just don't want to put too much in so you can see it is going to have a nice flat bottom to stand up on I said flat bottom not fat bottom <laughs> If you don't want to use the pigments, if you just search for um, oil-based cosmetic colours. Obviously made too much here. But I won't waste that. I'll make another one once these are unmoulded. I'm hoping we're going to be able to do. Um, I'm wanting to put some more in. I'm hoping they're going to be a hundred mils. Hundred grams, I mean. I'm excited about this one just because it's my favorite fragrance I love it now how much have we got left in yeah we've still got a hundred mils in there so we will get another one out of a full litre um, so there might be a little bit more than a hundred grams because out of a litre which is a thousand grams we've actually only got eight and then one left in the jar nine okay so that's fine um if they're a little bit heavier than the others then they'll just be a little bit more expensive so i mean there's so many fragrances i've got um and i really want to make some other um massage bars but we can decide that on a later date. I think these will do for now. Um, and we'll be back to one mould very soon. Okay, my lovelies, let's unmould some massage bars, shall we? Massage bars, lotion bars, solid body butter. Can anybody else think of other names for these? I'm sure there'll probably be many around the world so there you go these haven't been in the fridge or the freezer and as you can see they unmold beautifully
are nice and smooth none of those little um, cocoa butter beads to be seen anywhere Now it's time to unmould our pink champagne bars. I like to let the massage bars cure a little bit just for a few days before I pack them. They are pinker than I usually do, but they're still okay when you rub them onto your skin. They just melt on. They give a little bit of a rosy glow, but you can see it's not too pink um, that you're going to go out looking like you've got red skin. <laughs> Every batch is going to be a little bit different. And these look better with a bit more pink in. Okay, so let's unmould some burlesque massage bars, shall we? So you can see there are no rose petals on the bottom. And the rose petals that I wanted to stay on the top, which obviously was the bottom, they're right there, you can see them. The good thing with the rose petals, uh, as opposed to the rose buds in the angel mass na massage bars, they don't have a stem on them. So they're a lot softer if you're going to rub those on the skin. And then of course you get the luxury of... The rose oil that's actually in the rose petals, even though they're dry, they will still have rose qualities in there. All identical. Okay, it's now time to one mould from this mould for the very first time ever. Mm. There we are. It's a little bit, I think it needs to go. I'm going to pop these in the freezer. Actually, before I do that, because there is a little bit left in the bottom of this mould, I'm going to get my heat gun. And I'm just going to warm, warm that up in there. And just heat the top of the massage bar. It's a beautiful shape, beautiful shape. And then we'll just pop it back in the mould. 
pop it in the fridge or the freezer fridge for just an hour freezer probably about 15 minutes that's all so we will be back as soon as they're ready to unmold all right 10 minutes have gone by i'm going to start with the the bar that i unmolded let's see if it's set yet Mm, it's very untidy very untidy because I melted the top it's a shame so let's try the others That's better. So neat and perfect and beautiful. Love the shape. Just love the shape. And the colour looks good too, doesn't it? I was thinking a green massage bar would look horrid, but... It just be such a neat size to use on the body that now the reason I haven't made as many of these is because this is literally the first time I've made them and they're not on the website or anything so I haven't sold any um, but I'll just need to do some pictures of them to get them on the website and then I'm sure people will buy them Because I promise, well, I mean, obviously, it's it's preference, but the smell is absolutely stunning. But not everybody's going to like it. You know, everybody's different. Everybody has different tastes. That one I've destroyed a bit with my fingernail. So not the easiest mould to unmould from. But a beautiful shape. So that one. <clears throat> the one two I've damaged I'm just going to put back in there. And that's the beauty with massage bars. You can just remelt them and re-pour them. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with those for the ones that are ready you can see behind we've got some of the leftover mixture that I mixed some hot pink mica into and I'm just gonna place those on there we're gonna melt this mica and then we're gonna drizzle some over there because you know how much I love pink and green together. So let's do that, shall we? Okay, it's time to add some delicious pink to these gorgeous massage bars. We're just using a pipette, pipette, and we're just gonna drizzle it. How beautiful, how beautiful. There we are. This 
one's nearly dry already. And there we have all our of our delicious angel massage bars, burlesque massage bars, pink champagne massage bars, and angel aura, our new massage bars. Now we do have, as I promised, it's probably going to take me all year to get the new products that I promised uh, uploaded. Crazy, isn't it? Our time flies. We're already halfway through March. Um, but we've definitely got new products coming. Um, I have to mention coronavirus. I'm not going to go into too much. <music>